Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Neuromic and welcome back to another episode of Shenmue 2. Last time, for some reason, all the text is blue. Um, we, uh, we had our free day before we meant to meet the scout for the Yellowhead. He told us to meet him in B2 of the Thousand White Building, and that's where we're gonna go. And yeah, just before we get into it, this is either going to be a real wonk one, or it's gonna be split into two parts, hey, which is up. more likely. There's no time for sleeping all day. You think the Jew, right? Get moving. <laughs> I ended with uh, that last episode kind of unintentionally. Well, we gotta go to the place on the map. Uh, might as well ask Joy about the whole situation. What? How do I get there? I can't tell you that. Huh? If you go there, you might never come back. Joy, I. I won't stop you. I know it's no use. But. Joy. I don't want to help you get into trouble. Don't make me do that. I... Just go! Joy, you... Joy, I won't die. I promise I'll be back. Leo! No matter what, I cannot die until I finish what I have to do. Yeah. You wait here with Wong. All right? All right, yo. Yeah, the textures on Joy's hair there are a little bit, uh, a little bit wacky. Uh, should probably uh, see if there's an update for this game because they, they release bug fi fixes like at least every few months. So I don't know. And actually, now I think about it, yeah, this series, at least if you consider like Shemu One, it's been running over a year. We weird to think that. Hey, it's raining for once. <laughs> Would have been cool to see this last time so I could enjoy the atmosphere a little more. But I think we're just going to skip straight to 12 o'clock. Yeah, um, hmm, what was I going to say? Yeah, but I think New Year's 2020 we had a Shemu going on, so... Hey, depending on how you see it, if they're two halves of the same game or however you do. Um, definitely is a, uh, kind of weird thing to think about. But... I reckon we should uh, head to the Thousand White Building, and I've unintentionally taken one last walk around Kalu because it's it's in the Thousand White Quarter. Of course it is. Right. Anyway, stand quart. Let's go. This is the last time we're gonna hear any of this music. Uh, once we head to that meeting, well, even now, because I've only really got one save. Um, we are at the point of no return. I believe at 12 p.m. in game, which. You know, even if I try to like, make the most of it and gamble and enjoy the most of Kowloon, it's kind of like a ticking, you know, it's just, you know, time's running out. I think once it hits 12, it'll uh, teleport me straight there. Uh, we're going to skip Cafe Anna because I like keeping my run times fairly low. And, yep, there it is. Thousand White Building. Thousand White Building. Yeah, I remember playing this on Dreamcast and thinking, why? B2 of this building. Why is it abbreviated to BLDG? And then they had a realization that, oh, you know, it probably makes sense considering that it'd be hard to fit on a sign. And uh, yeah, that was my. Yeah. Does it stop on this floor? Okay. Right. Oh, there's stairs here. Got to go to the fourth three. But yeah, I. Uh, hmm. Actually, one last thing I want to touch on. Why does the inside of all the buildings, at least the bottom floor, always use stand quarter day? But, uh, the ghostal building, we ain't going in there. Uh, yeah, it always uses stand quarter day, right? But when you get to a higher floor, for some reason, uh, for, so for some strange reason, it skips to the nighttime version of the area that that building is in's theme, if that makes sense. So this is Thousand White Building in Thousand White Quarter, so it's gonna be, you know, Thousand White Night. It's like, what, what was the logic behind that? Because, again, I've touched on the fact I'm writing a review for this game. It's almost done. I've just gotta finish writing up the story portion and, like, breakdown of Disc 3. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, this is kind of a rather refresher. Like, it's like, why? Why? You know, I've touched on the whole elevator thing in a previous episode, you can go and watch it. But it's like, I wonder what, like, thought went into, you know, uh, oh, oh, you know, we should probably have it be the stand quarter day for all the bottom, and then the nighttime theme for that. Again, I'm going off just the thousand white, 
it, it could be that all all third floors have thousand white knight, and I just haven't realised. Um, I definitely haven't been paying the most attention while playing this game, but I think I've played, paid a decent amount. But here we are. Regardless of how much attention I've been paying, we're about to get into the Yellowhead building. Executives are waiting in the room at the end of the hall. Who the hell are you? Easy, man. Didn't I tell you to come alone? This isn't. You. Let's go. <laughs> so Ren turns up at the last second and, uh, yeah, knocks his poor man out. I mean, look at the guy. He, like, knocked out on the floor. <laughs> Ah, poor, poor guy ain't doing too good. But, let's go. Since the executives are waiting at the room at the end of the hall, and okay, he gestured this way, but I don't think that's uh, why he meant... How is it? A dead end. Damn! We'll find another way. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. we will. Yeah, I don't think there's a door there, so uh, yeah, we'll have to find a different way in. Um, anything? Nope. And I won't look around the corners, because I... I remember from Dreamcast, uh, playing it back then. Ren really likes to say, oh damn, we'll find another way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Memory is as good as ever. Well, it's not, I've forgotten a fair bit of what happens in this, uh, portion of the game, but you know. I remember where the door was. That's, that's how you pronounce his name? I've been calling him Zang this entire time. Thanks. Uh, we promise we'll be back. Alright. Well then, take this. This is... A map of the Yellow Head building. I got it from Zan. Really? Thanks. <laughs> hey! Zang is the MVP. We gotta go. Be careful. Okay. Oh yeah, Wong's coming in use one last time. I don't think this is the last time we hear from him in this game. And I swear the outline on the text has changed, but I'm too scared to say anything unless I seem old and senile. But... Is there a room at the end of the hall? Cause I would, I would like to have a little, uh, little fail condition, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So we'll run up here, and oh, there's some stairs leading up here. Is this? Uh, I want to have a good look, explore around here, because I reckon yeah, that that looks like a way in. Um, I want to have, I want to explore the basement area because it looks like there's multiple routes. Um, is this? Guys, not this time. Not good. Okay. Well, I'd argue we've learned our lesson. Uh, you know, curiosity really did kill the cat, or in this case, the gang leader. Um. Ooh. Okay. This looks promising. The elevators. Like, can we get? 
actually, right, B3, B5, and what's the other one? Um, B1, yeah, we ain't, uh, we ain't getting there anytime soon. Uh, we're on B2 currently, so it'll be a little while until we can use them. But <laughs> with that fail cutscene out the way, let's, uh, let's sneak out into the Yellowhead building. 1F. Okay, okay, this is useful. This is useful, I can dig this. It's a very, like, ominous feel. And I, I appreciate the fact they give you a map here uh, more than ever. <laughs> um, I know I kind of talked a little bit of slander about the maps in previous episodes. But, uh, do we take the stairs or... Stairs it is. Um, I talked a little bit of uh, slander about them in previous Yo, episodes, here. but Let's here they are very appreciated. Seriously, Wong and Zhang coming through with that are... You know, j j just great. Of course, um, it's just going to make it to the 17th floor, which ain't so easy. But again, it's, it's, this building is just plain bizarre at times. Uh, with that said, uh, I think the stairs are going to be our friend here. Those look blocked off. A lot of these floors are identical, by the way. Um, that was just to save on memory. Uh, but there are changes as we go later on, and this is where we came in. I think. Again, okay, we're on 2F, and none of the none of the elevators stop on this floor, so... Um, hmm. I wonder, I wonder if there's something around here we can use. I doubt it, but if one of these elevators were to stop here, you know, I wouldn't complain. Curses. But, there are stairs here. Found it. We can go upstairs. It really feels like we're uh, sneaking around right now. No patrols so far because, um, of course, we ha we haven't really been like caught. You know, I suppose the scout might wake up and then be like, you know, yo, they're in here. But, uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that's about to change now. Oh, don't tell me I've got to fight the guy. Red, I was getting bored. <laughs> I was only having some fun. Don't get so touchy. Stop pulling around. Ooh, I'm so scared. So, hmm. There was a guard on this floor, and I don't think that he's going to be the last. Uh, these first few floors are pretty easy, though. Although I think we might have a few quick time events inbound. Oh! <laughs> you didn't have to do him like that, Rio. Yeah, um, so no one knows we're here, and we're trying our hardest to make sure no one knows we're here, uh, but those guards and the scout are gonna wake up, and it's gonna make things a whole lot more trouble for us as we go along. So we'll, uh, we'll clear these floors as best we can, I'll try and get through as many as possible, but there will be a time where, you know, the, the difficulty is gonna increase just a little bit. Okay. Here comes another one. They're all free QTEs too. Not my favourite thing. But, I'm used to them. So, uh, they're a lot more bearable here as well. They're like, they're more fine-tuned. I can get behind it. They, they aged, like, they aged like milk in some areas of the game. But here, they're actually really well implemented. Because um, there's not like an overabundance of them. You'll have, like, a floor which focuses a little bit much on them every few floors. But, um, yeah, it mixes up the gameplay enough so they don't get too bored. Again, they will get more harder and complex as we go along. Just, you know, pay attention to what it does. Reacts quickly. Bam! <laughs> He's not getting up ever. Okay, the, the other ones, you know, yeah, they might wake up in the future. That man, no. He, he is... 
he's not moving ever again, I don't think. <laughs> you know, again, I think Xu Ying was right. I think Ryo may have been lost to the evil path. I mean, I mean right, what are we gonna do to this man? Um, we're not gonna let him catch us at the very least. Yeah, you know, I'm sure we're still, we're the good guys, right? We're, we're, the, we're the good guys, we're, we're doing the right thing, aren't we? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know anymore. We, like, we, hey, room 420. I have the brain of a child, I know. I know. Ooh, that, that was real generous on the timing. It's cool watching Rio do all these takedowns, though. Uh, yeah, I think I think they shake it up on the next floor, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe the floor after. I'm not minding these quick time events, but I understand okay, they might the get a little old for some people to watch. Um, hmm. and I gotta keep like my eyes peeled. Oh, yep. Okay, things have definitely changed. Uh, so music's changed, atmosphere's changed. Um. So floors that the elevator stop at does not, though. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep running. Has the layout changed slightly, or is that just me? Yeah, there's, there's crates around now. Um. Oh. This again. I, I already know I'm gonna lose, so I'll go heads. <laughs> Good. Then I'm tails. Alright? Fine. Yo. Tails. I win. Good. Here you go. Damn, Ren, Ren, Ren's got some dream look on his side. See, I told you. They, they shake things up with a few free battles, you know. There's a few top-down segments later on as well. Um, oh, no, we're not... Right, the one thing I don't want... Oh! Oh my god, that low-kick move, though. I can't, can I grab someone and throw him into his friends? That'd be funny. Come on. Like, what? I, I, okay, yeah, these guys are actually going to beat the hell out of me if I'm not lucky. But, uh... Yeah, no problem. So, I, again, I like how they shake things up as you go up the building. And, uh... Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is... a transceiver. Hmm. We can use this. Yeah, I reckon that'll come in handy for when, um... Yeah, I have a feeling that'll help us, say, when they're sending out patrols when they actually realise we're here. Because the more people we beat up, it's only a matter of time. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. And I think we do have to clear a decent bit of floors in order to reach where Zoo is. But, um, we don't have to go up all 40 floors, as that elevator would imply. We do head to the basement later on. The guards. Oh, brother. <gasps> oh, I buy all of these sections. We don't have time to deal with them. Run, the lights go off. Hey, Ren! Oh, I love this. It, it, it's goofy, but in a good way. Okay, so we gotta press A to go. I see. Oh, okay, I recall this being top-down, but apparently not. 
Right, let's go. It is more of an intro than an actual section of gameplay. Who are you? Damn. Idiot. You know, I'm, I was just, I was just failing for, you know. Oh, oh, actually, fight them, right? Interesting. I never knew. I, I, I want to do the tornado kick, but. Oh, oh, to the spirit of Tom lives on as usual. And ooh, have they, have they color coded the enemy life bars? It's like you can tell who you're do actually dealing damage to. That's interesting. Not that much trouble, eh? Hmm. Would like to get one of those segments down, but try to avoid them as much as possible. Yeah. Didn't take that much time, but every second counts here, so. Here we go again. They're Same deal. Oh, That's the guy that came in after us Thing. when we saw Don Yu, so. Yeah. Wish we got this top down view like Ren did, but I, I can I can I can appreciate it. Like, I, I like what they've done with the camera and kind of actually having Ren, like, move on his own, rather than just follow us. Okay. This time, let's go for it. Okay. Why is it staying on? Okay, okay. Right. I reckon I could probably make a run for it now, but... Yeah! Well done. See, I, I still have some sneakiness in me. Yeah. I mean, the more guys we take out now, the less guys we'll have to kind of take out and dodge on higher floors. But oh, not, not again, not again. <laughs> They're definitely getting harder. Got to predict how the lights flashing now. Run when the lights come out. All right. And um, we'll watch Ren shows how it's done. Okay, doesn't look too hard. I mean, I'm, I'm sure on speedruns this must really annoy any runners, because you kind of have to wait. It doesn't look like it's a way to optimize that. Again, I'm looking at that with a very amateur level of uh, skill here, so you know. There's that. Yeah, it's impressive how these are coded. Like, uh, I mean, I, su I suppose, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how they, like, edited their line of sight, I suppose, because, I mean, if you think about it, that ain't really a feature in the game. See, like, my, my programming classes and my mini knowledge of game design creeping in ever so slightly. True. Let's go. Ugh. I have to say, this episode's been great in helping me uh, actually write for the uh, review. Like, I actually understand how they get into the Yellowhead building, and I, I kind of had to water things. Okay, it's getting a little bit repetitive now, but I don't think it gets repeated for a while. Same thing. Run when the lights go out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're getting really close to them now. Like, it's getting risky, but we have to do it. Whew. Time's running up as well. well. I reckon we'll finish this floor, maybe the one after, depending on what the mechanic appears to be, and then we'll probably wrap up. So we'll do this, and come on. Hey! Right, you know what? Fine. 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 You know what? I was getting bored of sneaking around anyway. You know what? I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take my frustration on being caught by that light, because I, I... Oh my god! He <laughs> probably... Yeah, I thought he was done for, like... Like, one kick in, in there, right? Oh! I, I, I did half a move there. Come on, stop me. Let me get some hit blows in. Because I'm actually, like, being damaged, which, you know, not allowed. That's not allowed here. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have color coded the bars. I never realized that. Was that in the original, or was that, like, a thing they added in? Damn. Yeah, I reckon we're just going to have to redo that fight, finish this four. Oh, so it is just a retry. All right, we'll... Oh, I can skip Ren by having to run. Oh, that's useful. Come on, go off. Okay, here we go. <gasps> okay. I swear, seeing Ren at the end was like breath of fresh air there. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> I was kind of getting annoyed at the fact that Ren keeps insisting to look out for them. But, hey, heading up to floor 7. The next floor is the 7th. Hurry up! I don't think I'll hurry up, Ren. I think I'm going to hold the recording right here. Have a quick look at our notebook. I head to 17F, got a transceiver, use this to know the enemy's actions. Exactly what I was thinking. So I think we'll head to the 17th floor next time. Uh, maybe, maybe record it straight after this episode. See, I'm not sure, because it, it pushes me to do a double upload of Shenmue, which I know like, not everyone's a fan of, so I'm going to sh show some self-restraint and come back to this. And yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn notifications, leave a comment down below. Next time, and probably the time after, we'll be just completing this mission, because it is, it's long, but it's, it's fun. And yeah, with all that said, all that aside, on our way to rescue Zoo. And thanks for watching, guys. My name's Dinaramic. There was an awkward pause right before I started saying this sentence. And peace out.